in this video, I'm going to be evaluating this RC circuit. And I'm going to be using this phaser diagram right here to help me do that. I'm going to be finding the voltage across this resistor. I'm going to be finding the XC or the reactance across this capacitor and the voltage across this capacitor. And then finally, I'm going to be finding the input voltage and the input frequency. And I will be using this phaser diagram right here to accomplish this. At the end of the wall, we're going to get three voltages. A resistor voltage, an input voltage, and the voltage across the capacitor. And as you can see, all three of these voltages will be out of phase. The resistor voltage will be leading the input voltage, and the input voltage will be leading the capacitor voltage. The resistor voltage will be leading the input voltage by 45 degrees. And the input voltage will be leading the capacitor voltage by 45 degrees. And the resistor voltage will also be leading the capacitor voltage by 90 degrees. 45 and 45 equals 90. So where do we start? Well, let's start with the resistor voltage. I've got a current going through the circuit of 0 0.002 amps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply Ohm's law for the resistor and get the voltage across the resistor. Ohm's law says V equals I times R. The current, 0 0.002 amps, times a resistance of 1K ohm. That equals 0 0.002 amps times 1K ohm, that equals a voltage across the resistor of 2 volts. Now, we know that the same current of 0 0.002 amps is also flowing through the capacitor. But what we do not know is what the resistance is across the capacitor. So how do we find that? Well, we use the phasor diagram. The resistor voltage is a correction. The resistance of the resistor is 1,000 ohms. Now, you have a 45 degree triangle right there, a correction a 90 degree triangle. You have 45 degrees here and 45 degrees here. That means that this length and this length are the same. So that means that if the resistor here, which is at zero degrees, is 1000 ohms, then it also means that the resistance here which is the resistance of the capacitor, is also 1,000 ohms. So, 
So, we know that the same 0 0.002 amps is going through this 1,000 ohm reactant or resistance. So the voltage will be the same thing. So we've got a capacitor voltage of 2 volts. Now, I'm going to use this information and find the input voltage. And to do that, we see that this is a right triangle. The voltage across the resistor is 2 volts. The voltage across the capacitance is also 2 volts. So, we use the Pythagorean theorem to find the input voltage. And the Pythagorean theorem says 2 volt squared plus 2 volt squared that will equal Now, what we now have to find is the frequency or the input frequency that will make these phase shifts possible. And the formula for, and the formula for finding the input frequency will be based on the XC value. So we go 1 over two pi times one k ohm for the X E times a capacitance of one macrofarad. And that equals one divided by two pi times one k ohm times one microfarad. That equals a hundred and fifty nine point one five hertz. So the input frequency that will make these phase shifts possible is 159.15 hertz. So now we have the input voltage. We've got the voltage across the resistor. We have the voltage across the capacitor, and we also have the input frequency of 159.15 hertz. This frequency is what makes this voltage possible, and it also, it's also what makes these phase shifts a possibility. We've got 4 to 5 degrees between the input voltage 
and the resistor and four to five degrees between the input voltage and the capacitor and 90 degrees between the resistor voltage and the capacitor. And this brings me to the end of the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, like and share it, like and share it, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so. Thank you very much.